Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Also, hit that notification bell because I'll be posting videos every week. Alright, let's get into the recipe. So to start with the ingredients, you're going to need 6 tablespoons of softened room temperature butter. You want it to be softened so that it melts before the water to reduce evaporation. Then, for the dry ingredients, we need one cup of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of granulated sugar. Okay, so then for the wet ingredients, you need three large eggs, half a cup of milk, and half a cup of water. All right, so then I've made a cinnamon sugar coating here with just a half a cup of granulated sugar, but if you can get your hand on organic, that works really well and clings to the churro, as well as one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. If you can get your hand on Ceylon cinnamon, that's traditional here. Okay, so then in a medium-sized sauce pot, we're gonna add in our milk, water, and butter. We're gonna let this come up to a boil, and then once it comes up to a boil, you wanna add in all of your flour all at once. Then you're gonna mix it vigorously. If you have a wooden spoon, that would work great here. And you're gonna continue to mix this on the heat to release any excess moisture, as well as cooking out all of the flour. As you're mixing, you'll notice that the dough will come together to form a smooth ball, and you'll also notice that at the bottom of the pan, there will be a thin layer of film, and that's how you'll know it's done. All right, so now we're transferring our dough to the mixer, and we're just gonna mix this on a low speed just to cool the mixture down. Okay, so after mixing for about two minutes and our dough is slightly cooled, we wanna add in our eggs one at a time. We wanna make sure that our dough isn't too hot or else it'll shock the eggs and start to cook them. You wanna make sure that you scrape down the sides of the bowl in between each addition of egg. It might look like it's not coming together, but just keep mixing and the mixture will look like this at the end. Okay, so now we're gonna transfer our dough or our pate choux to a piping bag fitted with a star tip or any tip of your choice. Um, I only have this small tip here, but if you have a large tip, that will work perfect. Okay, so this next step is not traditional at all, but I just wanted to see what type of shapes I can make with the churros. So I just took some parchment paper and folded it into different squares, and I'm gonna pipe out different shapes for the churros. And then once they're piped, I'm gonna cut them out so that I could lay each square into the oil. You'll see what I mean. Okay, so if you decided to pipe your churros out on parchment paper like I did here, you wanna throw them in the freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes just to firm them up on the outside. You don't wanna over freeze them or else they won't cook fully in the center. Okay, so when frying the churros, you wanna make sure that you use a neutral oil like canola, vegetable, or even peanut oil works here. And you wanna heat it up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And you want to keep the temperature between 350 and 375. That way it maintains a crispy texture on the outside, but it's also custardy and fully cooked on the inside. Another thing to note here is if you use a small piping tip like I did here, 
The churros are quite thin, so it only took about 35 to 45 seconds per side. Once the churros are finished, you want to remove them with a spider or tongs and drain any excess oil. While the churros are still warm, you want to toss them in the cinnamon sugar because that's when they will coat the best, and then you're finished. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want this recipe and more like this, head over to my Instagram page. The link is in the description box below. And as always, happy cooking.